dawn at Heathrow, and a fire brigade video shows firefighters battling to stop flames engulfing the entire roof of Terminal 1, the airport's busiest. They succeeded, but only just. And as planes continued to take off and land, the authorities took the decision to close not just Terminal 1, but Terminals 2 and 3 as well. And by what would normally be the morning rush on Heathrow's second busiest day of the week, everything was still. And the cause of all the chaos? A small fire in the kitchen of a fast food restaurant that simply got out of hand. And whilst the knock-on effects made headline news, circumstances that led up to the fire are far less remarkable. Fire brigades attend around 3,500 fires in businesses each year that are started during cooking. 1,500 or so of these start in restaurants and cafes and fast food establishments. There are very few fatalities, fortunately, from these fires, but there are about 150 injuries. The figures confirm it. Above all other locations, it is the kitchen that carries the greatest likelihood of fire risk. In fact, nearly half of all fire emergencies will break out in a location such as this. And the all too usual suspects, the deep fat fryer and the chip pan. Hot oil or fat fires uh, develop very quickly and if they're not tackled very soon after starting, then you'll need the services of a professional firefighter to control and extinguish them. If you're lucky, it will just be disruption of the business whilst the premises is cleaned and any damaged equipment is repaired or replaced. In some cases, if the fire has involved other materials, for example, electrical insulation, then there can be toxic residues left around the premises, which must be removed before food can be prepared or sold again from the premises. Uh, if the fire gets into the extraction system, then it will ignite accumulations of fat and oil, which even in the best maintained establishment will be there. If there's the slightest fault on the extraction ducting, then the fire will spread to other parts of the premises and cause severe damage, if not completely destroy the business. Of course, knowing the correct procedure to follow faced with a hot oil or fat fire is essential. Choosing the wrong extinguisher will only add to the problem, particularly when the fire has been burning for a short time. AFFF foam extinguishers, being water-based and predominantly designed for petroleum risks, are likely to give an almost immediate flashback as the hot oil simply burns the foam into oblivion. Carbon dioxide is a clean gas generally used for electrical risks. Against the intense heat of burning oil, it's virtually powerless. All-purpose powder extinguishers provide rapid knockdown against a fire, but without cooling or sealing properties, reignition will occur. With firefighting equipment, first aid firefighting equipment anyway, the tendency has been to produce an all-purpose extinguisher suitable for use on Class A and B fires. And this has been quite successful. But it has overshadowed the need for something to deal with hot oil fires, which, after all, are the most common fire in the kitchen. What's more, there's a very significant difference between the flammable liquids used as approved benchmarks for testing and the everyday fuels that you'll find in the kitchen. The main difference between a flammable liquid fire and a cooking oil fire is the temperature of the burning liquid. A cooking oil fire is much hotter. It's about 350, 360 degrees C versus about 50. This makes the cooking oil fire much more difficult to extinguish and it also gives it this propensity to restrike. So in the absence of a single convenient form of protection for these particular risks, Chubb Fire's development team have brought their worldwide experience to bear and with very impressive results. Chubb's new Fry Fighter extinguisher is quite simply the most effective answer yet for hot oil and fat fires. Produced to Chubb Fire's acknowledged standards of quality and performance, the Fry Fighter will soon become the number one first aid fire protector for every commercial kitchen. Firefighters will tell you that hot cooking oil and fat fires are very difficult to deal with and potentially very dangerous. In terms of fires and extinguishment, they are in a class of their own. Now perhaps this would be more widely appreciated and these fires would be dealt with much more safely if this was recognized and acknowledged 
in a separate classification for this type of fire. Chubb Fire recognize this need and have successfully led the British and European Standards Institutes to provide a completely separate fire classification for hot oil and fat fires, Class F. And the BSI agree that Class F category is very important. So with considerable development work in place behind the project, it's no coincidence that the Fry Fighter is to be the very first extinguisher to receive Class F British Standard Approval. Here, at the Loss Prevention Council, the Fry Fighter is being prepared for what will be a deliberately overcritical test. A fire involving a 75-litre container of cooking oil. That's many times larger than even the biggest standard commercial deep-fat fryer. With the heating process underway, the extinguisher is filled, weighed and pressurized. Three hours later, the temperature has reached the point of auto-ignition. After two minutes of pre-burn, the fire is finally tackled with the fry fighter. As here, full discharge of the extinguisher is always recommended. Once sealed, the residue of the fire is inspected for safety. And although this was a fire of a size far beyond the scope of employees working in a conventional kitchen, the fry fighter still performed extremely well. But how does it meet professional expectations? The fry fighter is certainly impressive. With conventional extinguishers, you get a rapid knockdown and poor insulation, or a slower knockdown and very good insulation. With fry fighter, you get a very rapid knockdown and very good insulation. The other feature I like about the design is that it can be used by a non-professional with comparative safety. So whilst it may not be the answer to the world's travel problems, the Fry Fighter is certainly the most significant improvement yet for first aid firefighting in the commercial kitchen. In a class of its own, the Fry Fighter from Chubb Fire, the acknowledged world leaders in fire protection.